I'm rolling It won't take long where I'm going I'm going, Lord, I don't know If I get there, I'll get there I'll show from my way back The Old Mutual Joburg to Sea Delivered by Avis Van Rendel The camp packing up and getting ready for day three of the Old Mutual uh, Joburg to see 130 k's rates we are in to Sterkfontein Dam. Oliver Minnick is with me here, Ollie. A great day ahead here. This is a, a big day, but a, a really enjoyable one. Yeah, Gerald, it's 130 k's. Uh, we, it will be a long day, but we're really looking forward to the, the new section at, Saint, at Mount Paul. Uh, there's a 4.5k Red Bull uh, Enduro run, and that's going to be a sweet reward at the end of the day. And the racing up front, uh, no one uh, showed any cards yesterday, did they? No, I think it was just they put the grind out and I think it will be much the same today. Uh, no one wants to show their cards too early, there's still a long way to go. I think it will be similar, no one will try and attack and it will be a bunch ride. Enjoy your ride. Thanks. That's the way it is here ahead of the day three of the Old Mutual Joburg to see. We'll see you in Stagfontein. Stage two from Frankfurt to Rates was ridden in perfect conditions. The first day's racing decided by a sprint. Fed Group iTech Connect edging our team ReCM on the line. The Rates High School community provided a wonderful environment at the Billy Millie Showgrounds as riders took advantage of a relatively short day in the saddle to unwind and contemplate the next seven days riding. The landlocked Free State Province will be our playground on day three as we continue our eastward journey. Along down the bike starts with a climb past the lion farm deep into the back roads of the Free State where the generous farmers put aside their troubles to open their gates and hearts to us. Jabalani's single track snakes along the banks of the Elans River and then the highlight of the day, the climb up Mount Paul before the thrilling Red Bull Enduro descent takes us to the massive Sturkfontein Dam. The 2K wall is the gateway to our spectacular overnight stop where the good people of Harry Smith are our hosts. Another spectacular morning. The tractors, the Massey Ferguson's, really setting a cracking pace there. Oliver Minnick joins me here, Ollie. Great conditions. Can be tricky down that descent. It was very dusty and visibility was very low, but uh, everyone made it through down to the water crossing. And everyone together here on uh, this third day, mainly, all the, all the, the, the heavy hitters. That's Stu Rawlinson. He's going with Jared Van Zydam. They are in this main bunch. A lot of uh, those who wouldn't be at the sharp end, but the pace pretty pretty relaxed here. Uh, relaxed uh, somewhat. Uh, the open roads make it easier for groups to form and uh, this was the case. A large front bunch uh, making their way down to Stokefontein Dam. Now Jane Newsley here who uh, is in the mixed racing with Eve Komubert, she had a really really difficult day. They were very close to Ariane and Eric yesterday but a tough day for her. Uh, well unfortunately she was the nail as opposed to the hammer today. It happens in racing and you just have to take those days and limit the damage. Canada Blend and Team Reseam going here, but uh, this is the Mount Paul section, the new section today. What did you make of it? Uh, it was uh, interesting to say the least. At least there was a Red Bull Enduro run that made it all worthwhile. 3K climb up and then the incredible descent down where Lawrence Luce and Brandon Stewart got away. And uh, the, this is interesting because they're from opposing teams here. Left their partners behind. What happened? No, this is, can get awkward. I mean, it's teams of two, but uh, the, the guys in the same team need to attack together. Here we've got opposing teams attacking, and then it really becomes uh, who's got the strongest legs in the team. So with ten, less than 10 k's to go, it were, we had two riders from opposing teams up front, uh, Stuart and Lawrence Luce. It was all up to the guys at the back, McDonald and Wilcock. Now let's see who comes out on top. Oh, and it was Waylon who joined Lawrence Luce crossing in first place. Fantastic result for the boys. Well, a fascinating day's racing, particularly as McDonald and Wilcock were former teammates. In fact, winners of this race in the past. And Key and Lil in third place as the uh, leading uh, riders cross the line. The top mixed team finishing the top 10. Eric and Ariane Kleinans, the preeminent mixed team in the world. They must be Team Reesium. Absolutely superb performance by them. And the day's women's winners were Yolandi de Toy and her partner Nikki Grobler. A real surprise that, but they're in charge. Team ReCM, Wilcock and Luce edging out Fed Group iTech Connects, Stuart and McDonald by the narrowest of margins. And Yolandi de Toy and Nikki Kroblov, Team Bizhub, finishing ahead of Standard and Lisa Ulafir, with Ishan Stopforth and Yolandi de Villiers back in third. Wilder Wilcock and Lawrence Luce have a 22 second lead over Stuart and McDonald. Key and Lil of Cannondale Blend very much in the picture as well. Yolandi de Toy and Nikki Kroblov now have a 5 minute and 16 second lead over Cherie Standard and Lisa Ulafir.
Eric and Ariane Clayland showing their dominance in the mixed, but Catherine Williamson and Jared Haley put in a superb day, both teams finishing in the top 10 overall on the day. Clayland's and Clayland's have an overall lead of over two minutes on Williamson and Haley. We're standing here at Mount Paul, one of the Red Bull run sections. What happens is that the riders go around the mountain for three kilometers, gradual climb up, and then there's five kilometers of adrenaline pumping single track down towards Stagfantine Dam. Sensational Red Bull Enduro run, some four kilometers of single track down of Mount Paul. Ivan Kruger winning it in 5.41, just ahead of Oliver Minnick and Nico Fitzenmaier taking third place. Well done, guys. An event like Old Mutual JWTC cannot exist without sponsors. But it's not just our incredible title sponsor, Old Mutual. There's a whole host of other sponsors behind the scenes. And all of these sponsors have one thing in common. They all ride and participate in this event in some form or another. And I think that's the difference. You have to be part of this event to grasp what this is, is about. These guys have shared this experience. They're with us for nine days. They're interacting with customers. The, I think that is why sponsorship in this event is not just a normal sponsorship. It's not about media exposure. It's about direct interaction with each other as sponsors, with the riders, and for us, it's a privilege to work with individuals that feel as passionate about the Old Mutual Job to see as we do. Old Mutual Job to see is such a beautiful uh, sponsorship project for us in that it actually touches the back uh, roads of South Africa. And the involvement of the schools as hosts of these riders is quite phenomenal in the sense that the schools get to raise funding. Today was quite an extraordinary day for myself. You had water points where they had refreshments, they had uh, food, and it kept the riders going. And just to see smiles on their faces, you know, doing 118 or so kilometers a day, you know, it was rather brutal on the riders, but from the communities just to show their support, their love, and from an emotional point of view, it's like, what's good for South Africa is good for all mutual. It's my first time that I actually got to a village um, from early in the day to at this point. And I have to say that the way that the community is committed to the event is just amazing. You know, and if you see this and you know you're involved, and there's so many people involved here that really um, see your product and they, they know all about you. And I want to say thanks to the Frankfurt community. They really come to the party not participate and they really committed to this whole thing. It's, it's amazing. I, when I, I can't believe what I'm seeing from a community and how they do things here. So well done to them. Our main role is to supply the vehicles um, for the backup crews for uh, Old Mutual Joburg to see. We've been involved in the event for the past four years from inception and uh, we um, certainly do get results in sales out of uh, supplying the vehicles and assisting on the, on the route. Sabaru's are ideal for this type of, uh, of, of event because they can handle all the single track. I've been traveling on most of the single track with the riders today, one wheel on the track and the other wheel in the felt, and I've been cruising along quite happily and thoroughly enjoying myself. You know, from Karen B's point of view, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be involved in the old Mutual Joburg to see. You know, the event just does so much for the communities that it touches, and for us to be involved in our small way, you know, it's a, it's, it's a privilege. Thank you. 
A long, hard day in the saddle on stage three of the old mutual Joburg to see, but one to savour. This is riding South Africa at its very, very best. Let's look back at some of the day's action in the company of Gerald Clark. He was singing about what some might have done today, walking slowly. I'm walking slowly Can't find my way out of here I don't think you know me I don't think you know me anymore But I've got to move on Got to find my way back home I've got to move forward But there's one place that I'd rather be Back in Joburg to see, delivered by Avis Van Rendel.